I think the, the demand for it is up for sure and the supply is down. A small dose that can have a big impact. The naloxone shortage in Manitoba is getting so bad it's to the point where organizations on the front line of the crisis say they're having to share supplies of the life-saving drug. Our communities demanding action. Not tomorrow or a month from now, people are losing their lives. We are demanding action today. This week, MP for Winnipeg Centre, Leah Gazan, and several harm reduction organizations called on the federal government to address the shortage of naloxone, saying the provincial government is failing in its responsibility to supply the drug in Manitoba. I think it's a huge thing to have uh, as a resource. Kevin Walker is a leader with Winnipeg's Bear Clan Patrol, which regularly helps people who are dealing with drug poisoning or overdoses. He says right now the organization is doing okay when it comes to its supply of naloxone, but only because they've sourced it from out of province. He worries about what will happen if the shortage is not addressed. Yeah, without the naloxone and without that, it's going to be, uh, there are going to be a lot of problems out on the streets. The direness of the shortage also highlighted by a Winnipeg pharmacy staffer. Dustin Novak, who works at a local pharmacy that's a well-known site for those seeking the life-saving drug, said in a Facebook post he has had to give away his last kit while responding to a potential overdose and for the time being is now utilizing the bear clans out of the bottom stash, saying the shortage has left a huge gap. The government of Manitoba, meanwhile, claims there is no shortage of naloxone itself, but it was dealing with supply chain issues, which they're working to address dress, saying thousands of naloxone kits have already been distributed and thousands more are coming. And our community is not going anywhere. However, several organizations backing Gazan in her call for federal intervention say the reality of the situation does not match the province's messaging, with the Manitoba Harm Reduction Network saying all its sites are dealing with backlogs across the province. The government of Manitoba says while it has no recorded shortage, it is monitoring reports of low supply, saying, quote, Health Canada takes any reporting of drug shortage seriously and will not hesitate to work closely with our other federal departments, provinces and territories, as well as stakeholders across the drug supply chain in the event of any drug shortage. For frontline workers like Walker, he says he's happy the issue here in Manitoba is being looked at, saying something needs to change. It has to be addressed. I mean, it's not going away. The problem is just going to be getting worse. So we need the proper tools to combat the, the situation at hand. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.